where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chu Ki Chen, and today we are talking with Catherine Kwan. So Catherine, where are you based and what do you do? Yeah, so I'm based here in Mountain View. Um, I work at uh, Google and I'm a developer advocate. So that means that I get to teach people in the public how to do Android development. Great! And how did you get started on Android? So I started in college actually. I was oh, working on a okay. student project uh -huh. and we were using Android devices for telemedicine. It was meaning like the doctors are in a different place from the patient. Yeah. Oh wow, that's interesting. So this, this the app was for rural healthcare workers. Okay. And they would collect patient information and then mm -hmm. they would send it over um, the network to doctors who are in like cities. Mm -hmm. So it was a really cool use of technology. Right. And it's not like the most. It was like sending data, and yeah. um, I mean, this is sounds sexy, but it's very, very important in terms of improving people's lives. Yeah, it was the application that I found really innovative right. and inspired me to just keep learning Android. Wow. So I was really excited to join the Android team here at Google, and that was like in the gingerbread release time. Okay, so, so you've been long. doing this for a long time. Yeah. Great. Wow. <laughs> And since you said you are teaching Android, mm -hmm. um, how, how is it like to, like for a lot of developers, we are like heads down, we know what we are doing, <laughs> but it's very hard to explain to people, especially people who have no experience in programming at all, and they just come right in and they, they're very excited, yeah. but it's also a difficult subject. Like how, how, do you, how do you teach people? That is a really good question yeah. because you get used to doing it so much right. that you don't know so why you do yeah. it or how you do it. Um, and so I think the best way that we've been able to kind of create the curriculum for uh -huh. how to teach Android development is by watching or teaching people in person. Oh, okay. through, like, before beta, you record it. Right, through mm -hmm. beta testing to just see people's reactions, like right. are they understanding it or not? Because like we have so much information that we need to tell people, right. but it's like you don't want to just push it on them. You yeah. want to make sure that it's at the right pace and in the right order that makes sense to them. Mm -hmm. um, I think like, I mean, in a way, it's similar to software development. You do beta testing first, like you yeah, do a little bit of true. product development, and yeah. then you come, you imagine what your user wants, yeah. and then you build a small version of it, yeah. and then you go out and watch them use your product, which yeah. is of course, um, and then you, you do the final version, which is a bigger scale version of what Yeah, you, you like record it um, and put it online. Great! Yeah. Cool. And is there one particular concept that people find it difficult to understand and, and how do you kind of get them over that hump and mm -hmm. move on to the next stage? Um, I think well, there's a, a lot of like challenging concepts but I think the very first one that can get people like motivated is like teaching them about layouts and views. Okay. Um, because well, people will look at their phone and they'll see like a whole app and they'll think it's really complicated to build. Right. But what they don't realize is that if you break it down, it's just at the core, like a bunch of individual views, just rectangles on right. the screen. This will have a light bulb moment for them. Yeah, to, to be able to break down what they see into like text views, image views, right. buttons. Right. These are concepts that people kind of recognize, but they don't realize that you just okay. need to combine them to build an app. It's a part of kind of so it's really powerful when people can... Um, so, so usually when they first see it, they're like, oh, I can never do that, it's so yeah. complex. But then, but then by just breaking it down to the components and explaining, you yeah. can get them yeah. get started. And I think the biggest thing when, when people are trying to learn Android for the first time, just, I feel like the biggest hurdle is not necessarily the technical content, but more the, the intimidation that they ah. feel. They just immediately think they can't they do it. They assume that yeah, this is beyond them. It's too hard, mm -hmm. but, um, but I totally think you that... You have tricked them into <laughs> it by showing them the little piece that, that they can understand. Yeah, and then you just build off of that, and I think because Android development is so concrete, like you can see it on your right. phone. You can hold it literally. Yeah, yeah. it's really motivating, and so I'm, I'm just like so excited to uh -huh. see more people do Android development. Cool. Well, thank you for talking with us today. Thank you. And uh, what, where can people find you on the internet? So you can find me on Google Plus or Twitter. My name is Catherine Kwan. Um, you can use Google search. <laughs> okay, she says just use Google search. Yeah. And if you can, if you want to find me, my name is Chuki. So it's also just C H I U K I on Twitter.